I'm gonna do. <laughs> right, I, I'm gonna do a couple, but, some more thank yous for the donors, and then we're gonna go to my last topic of the evening. All right. So, uh, Darren Saunders, uh, thank you so much for donating. Broke Ape, thank you. Another anonymous, thank you. Uh, SJ, whoa, SJ, thank you so much, SJ. That was a nice one. Um, and Kid Skid, another anonymous. Okay. Then we're $1,400 towards the Guide Dog Foundation, uh, which is fantastic. We've we've 40% past our goal. We've blown past it. If anyone else wants to keep donating, please do. Uh, the Guide Dog Foundation is a fantastic organization that that uh, trains uh, dogs to help them uh, uh, guide the blind, train service dogs to help those who have disabilities or sensory uh, issues. Uh, it's a great charity. Get some good boys and good girls. Uh, Monkey Butt would have made a great one. Uh, only after she calmed down and got became an old lady. <laughs> uh, but um, I want to thank everybody who's been donating. You guys are awesome. Is making Charity Tuesdays just the best thing in the entire world. Um, and now on to our last topic I wanted to ask you about. Uh, uh, I don't know how how much you are in, in, in the other plays and the other companies that are uh, being, being uh, hit by the shorts. But the uh, CEO block that has formed um, amongst these companies that uh, have been shorted, and now they're like banding together, creating almost like, I don't know, a Super Friends or a Justice League or a uh, union of CEOs. Um, what's your opinion on this, like now where these CEOs are finding finding their voice and they're not scared to talk about how much they're being shorted? Because before... These, a lot of these, these CEOs and executives wouldn't talk about it because it would be seen as manipulation or something. But now they're like, dude, ring straight up shorted illegally. And we've got proof that they're illegally shorting us. Uh, and now they're banding together and like creating these weird lawsuits and fights. So I was wondering, what what's your take on all that? Um, hold on, let me get, he got dropped his ball under my desk. <laughs> We gotta have a puppy episode. We're donating the puppy, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, give him one more opportunity. <laughs> All right. Um, so Roger, I was gonna you know, I was gonna have an interview with Roger and we did kind of talk and I've been watching a lot of his interviews and I was I was paying attention to, you know, GNS and all that yeah. and I mean, obviously, we all know that it's going on. I, I mean, I'm still kind of skeptical on it a little bit because, like you said, why did they all suddenly come together? Why is it like a super block of these guys that get West Christian, share, tell all these yeah. things? They're basically going over all the things we wanted them to do. Everybody's jumping on, and they're ignoring all the things that they killed all of our CEOs about. Yeah. Um. So let's get to GNS quick. GNS, when this first started, it was the float was seven. It was what, like ten million? Yeah. It's at 37 or 34 million now from convertible notes. Mm -hmm. So it's basically tripled. Yeah. Um, it, the, all, all of their plans, you know, a lot of things I'll talk about, which, you know, we don't know if they'll work. A lot of people have tried them. Some work, some haven't. And a lot of things seem to be like down the road, down the road, down the road. A lot of these CEOs, I feel like when I've looked at their things, they've been burned from Wall Street. Yeah. So I feel like yeah. they have a personal vendetta as well. So maybe that's what's feeling them going, all right, we all got burned personally from it. Should we go after them? Or are they saying, you know, hey, we can ride some retail? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like uh, this, this, is, this is positive marketing. We can we see our stock price go up for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. get our name out, get, get our or get our stock up. Because it's like when you look at the companies themselves, yep. they're not making money. You look at the, the reported shorts; they're not really out there. Yeah. If it, and not only that, but so here's here's the thing. Here's my main thing I want people to understand. So before all this stuff, so a lot of people would look at these stocks, like these pump stocks, real quick. Yeah. Suddenly, the short volume would be 50, 60, 70 percent for like the three weeks that retail would jump on it yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? And this is always also an AMC. They could look over at GME. You could look over the 60, 70 percent short volume. Yeah every single day for years well before any of these guys started jumping on did you guys look at the data before that their short data wasn't crazy like that now it is because suddenly retail's jumping on otc market's going crazy yeah. people are buying gns pennies on the dollar and every time i see it's the same thing i look at a lot of the accounts i'm not saying that you know 
obviously I've made a lot of money. I, I've been riding this GNS thing because I mean I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna leave free money out there. Yeah, it was I know seven cents gonna, a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. I know retail's gonna be running at it and playing these off. I'll play off retail too. I'm not yeah. I'm not gonna leave money off there, hate me for whatever. Like I'm not gonna sit there, but I don't sit there and tell people trades and all I don't tell yeah. anyone what I ever do other than with AMC and GameStop. Because those are the two plays in the world right now, I feel like, that are against corruption. And that's yeah. all I care about is taking these elites down, blowing this stuff up, getting us our short squeeze, the money we're all owed, mm-hmm. and then taking us down, dude. And those are the two that I feel can. I don't. I mean, I don't think these other ones are going to be these like, oh, yeah, everybody sits there and like, oh, man, GNS is going to be the one to expose it and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I mean, maybe he is, maybe he's not. But I'm going to play up and down on it because I know it's going to be extremely volatile. But you like I said, the float suddenly went up twenty one million. Nobody talks about it. Yep. Nobody cares, and, and it's and it's the same exact thing that happened to AMC. And and then everybody says the same thing. Well, I don't care about that. I don't care that they're not making money. I don't care the short interest says it's low. I I want to back just the CEO. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a salesman type pitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, but it's like anybody. No, and that's the thing. Every one of the CEOs knows this is happening to every stock. It's not like it's crazy news. So at any point, a CEO could go, hey, like you said, let's just make a little gimmick, get our stuff rid. Now our stock's at this. Let me go ahead and convince him. Hey, let's do some little dilution. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, screw the shorts. And then you look over, suddenly the short interest report is now under 1%. Yep. And, and all of a sudden, you're like, well, where is this? What are we supposed to be watching at this point? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then they all say, yeah, yeah. so, but all of a sudden, he'll convince you, you know, we need these these hundreds of millions of dollars were in a bad situation real quick. And then they go out and they'll buy, they bought the hotel. Yeah. Now they're doing a spinoff and yeah, the spinoff is going to be, uh, I forget the name of the, the exchange, like M E J C or something like that. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. a blockchain exchange. So it'd be, it'd be a blockchain stock. So it's a crypto stock basically. Um, yeah. And uh, so, you know, people are hoping that's it's because it can't be funged. That ends up being sort of like a, uh, uh, an overstock situation that yeah you know this thing will push to 150 bucks maybe higher as a result of them not being able to find any of these little crypto uh shares yeah so you're hoping all this works out all this stuff yeah. works out and and that's what i feel like nobody cares about the company everybody's just riding the chance that if a ceo goes after them mm-hmm. the ceo will automatically win yep and that's what you're riding on on these stocks. You're not worrying about the companies. You're not worrying about anything else. You're worrying. The, you're basically saying, "I believe these CEOs will beat the shorts." Yeah. Or, or not even beat the shorts. They'll be able to prove the systems the faulty or mm-hmm. faulty, and they'll get paid for it. Yeah. And so will we. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Like that's it. If you think if you 100% think these CEOs will beat the system and you'll get it, then go ahead and jump on it. If you think that they'll get destroyed in the process, like everyone else, they might ride it up, and you could make some money. Do it that way, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that the the CEO block, like they need, I don't know, like a certification process, sort of like we need to be able to verify that you aren't a really shitty stock on a shitty company that should die anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, there's been some sort of like you must meet this criteria to join our CEO block. Otherwise, it's going to be. You know, a free for all for every crappy OTC company that shouldn't exist. Uh, <laughs> yep. That's losing money. And, yep. Oh, I yeah. have joined Excelsior. Like, <laughs> you know. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I, I mean, and that's the thing. Roger, like, he's a very charismatic person. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you just talking to him a little bit, watching him, like, he, you just instantly believe in him. Yep. He's got that type of a personality. Yeah. It's like the perfect person to get out there and be right in the thing too. Yeah, they, like I've I've noticed that like John Berta is sort of like let Hamilton take over because let's face it, like John Berta is not a great speaker. He takes half an hour to get out a two minute spiel, uh, and and so like, yeah, so I think he's sort of like delegated, like yeah, you are the spokesperson for this whole CEO block thing. We'll let you. Yeah, because he's come here, like, super charismatic. Yeah, he's super charismatic, and like I said, and that's the thing. It's like. You see John is the perfect guy. Or, I'm sorry, not John, Roger. You yep. see Roger, he's the perfect guy to be like, here's our face. And, and he makes you just believe in him. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a perfect a perfect setup, perfect everything for retail. And I mean, like I said, it, people are going to go, well, I've made money and stuff. Yeah, I know. Of course you did. I just told you I made money too. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I believe that 
they're necessarily going to win too. I mean, they might, they might not. I'm going to, I'm going to put some money in there and see if it, I'm going to leave some in there that I bought at like, no, I bought some at a dollar. Yep. I bought some at like 80 cents. I'll let that keep riding for a while and I've made some profit, but if they win sweet, but if not, I mean, it's just a gamble. That's yeah. what you're gambling. Yeah. You're gambling on them beating the system. And that's what you got to realize. Yeah. And, and the system sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like you said, that you're not, obviously betting in those otc companies that should have probably died off anyways man yeah yeah all right cool yeah that's it's you know it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of like a folks every, everything you do approach with trepidation and skepticism <laughs> yep exactly. like oh be just you know people people always degrade like being cynical but i think sometimes cynicism is a safety mechanism we have and that it helps you run through like the game theory process that that or what possible outcomes there could be for every single one of these things. Uh, you know, sometimes we win big and then it disappears and then we win big again, this disappears. Uh, and so, you know, if, if, if you're playing these things, expect some losses along the way, uh, expect some heartbreak along the way. Not everything is a guaranteed winner. Um, but in the end, you know, Find your favorites, do your buy and hold on those, and keep donating to charity. That's <laughs> moral, yep. moral story. Support the pups. Exactly. Support the pups. <laughs> <laughs>